Hey, Grace Covenant, here we are, just finishing the second week of this series, Don't Drink the Poison. I hope it's been helpful because what I see quite often is individuals, even in our Grace Covenant family, they're drinking the poison and they're wondering, why is there this bitterness? Why is there this turmoil in my life? So hopefully this series has been helpful for you. Today, I wanna to talk with you about Joseph. You know, there's a lot of different stories we have in the Bible where we see the reality of what happens when someone drinks the poison, when they don't drink the poison. What's interesting in Joseph's story is we see kind of both sides of what happens when we drink the poison, what happens when we pour the poison out. Because again, you have that choice. You're the bishop, you're the overseer of your heart. And so in Joseph's story, just really quick, the summary was uh, Joseph's brothers took offense. Now they had a right to be offense and oftentimes um, that's true. When offense happens, you have the right to be offended. Like the offense really happened, but again, you get to choose whether you drink the poison or not. Well, in this story of Joseph, his brothers chose to drink the poison. Joseph was the younger, he was the favorite son. Uh, that created some animosity, some offense. Not only that, Joseph had a couple dreams and in the dreams, kind of the interpretation of the dreams is, is that his brothers that someday would would bow to him, that he would be over them. And the scripture says that they hated him even more. So there's this growing bitterness as a result of the offense. What Joseph's brothers, they drank the poison. And, and as you look at the story, what we see happening is the same thing that still happens today. Though there would be a lot of years that separate us from this, uh, this story in, in Genesis, uh, we see the same thing happen today. Relationships break down when there's bitterness, when individuals drink the poison. There's a growing animosity. If it's not addressed, it usually manifests in some ugly, ungodly way. And that's what happens in Joseph's story. His brothers end up selling him into slavery. Their own flesh and blood, they, they sell into slavery. Now what's interesting is you look then to Joseph's response, it's a great example of pouring out the poison. Because again, you can drink the poison or you can pour the poison out. And Joseph certainly had reason and opportunity to be offended but as you read the story, Genesis 37 and following, he chose not to be offended. Um, and in that, there was no there was no place for bitterness or revenge. Uh, it really, I believe, opened the way for God to heal his heart because there was a point of betrayal that was real. And so I think his willingness to pour out the poison, not to um, own the offense, allowed God to heal uh, the wounded places in his own life. And not only that, it positions you to be a blessing to others because there came a time later in Joseph's life when he had an opportunity to get revenge on his brothers. And he said, hey, God's placed me here not to harm you, but to bring blessing. And so we see all of that happening. Why? Because Joseph chose not to drink the poison. So my challenge to you today is when someone offends you, and it's probably gonna happen today. If it doesn't happen today, it'll happen tomorrow. When that happens, rather than drinking the poison, here's the challenge, choose to pour it out. Don't allow it to settle into your soul. And in that, you're gonna find greater peace, greater joy, and you're gonna be able to engage in healthier relationships. God bless you, have a great day.